July 13th, which means tomorrow is July 14th, which is also the predicted date for Mac OS X Lion to ship. And within Mac OS X Lion, there's a few questionable things, I guess you could say. People are wondering why certain things are the way they are. And one of the biggest ones is, why did they reverse the scrolling? So in case you don't know, Apple has reversed scrolling in Mac OS X Lion. And a lot of people are going to hate that because it's been the same way since computers first came out, since the first mouse came out. You know, if you want to go down, the page goes down. If you scroll up, the page goes up. Apple has changed this. And so I'm on Snow Leopard. And I've decided that I'm going to I'm gonna keep the defaults in line. I want to get used to the gestures the way Apple intended them. I don't want to change any settings unless I really can't stand it. And so I'm on Mac OS X Snow Leopard right now. And I found a third party app that is pretty cool. So if you guys are like me, I'm going to be waiting a couple, like two or three days or so before I upgrade to Lion. Just because um, it could be buggy and everything. Especially since I have a Hackintosh. So I'll give some time for drivers and kecks and stuff to be developed. So... There's a nice app for Mac OS X uh, Snow Leopard called Scroll Reverser. I'll, I have a link in the description, so go ahead and click that if you're interested in getting this. And what this does is it makes the scrolling just like Lion. So I'm going to go ahead and turn this on. This was not in my What's in My Menu Bar video because I simply had it, uh, I hid the icon. So now since scrolling, uh, reverse scrolling is enabled, now if I scroll up, the page goes down. And if I scroll down, the page goes up. And this also works inversely for uh, left and right, like horizontal. So if I have an application that has, you know, this page doesn't have any, um, like, left and right because it's as big as it can get. But um, if you have an application that you can scroll left and right, like a, like a timeline in Final Cut, if you scroll left, then you scroll right. If you scroll right, then you scroll left. And the reason for this is... Apple doesn't want you to focus on these anymore. Whenever you move something, it, you pretty much focus on here and not on the content of the page. And when touch devices came out, this reversed itself. So, for example, picture my entire desktop as a huge iPhone right now. If I wanted to scroll down, I would scroll up because, once again, I'm not focusing on the scroll bar over here. So what you're doing is, say, if I wanted to scroll down, that means that the content, like, for example, focus on this ad here. This ad, if I scroll down, moves up. So what you're doing is you're moving this content up. If you if don't even worry about the scroll bar anymore, pretend that's not even there because in line they have removed the scroll bars until you start scrolling. Which does make sense because I never use them anyway. So you you're pushing the content of the page. You're not controlling the the scroll bar anymore. So if I want to move down, I want this video here to just focus on this video now. I want this video to go up and I want to reveal the rest of the page. So I want to push this off the page. It's, you know, if you think of it that way, it does make sense. But, you know, a lot of people are going to say, yeah, well, this isn't a touch device. I agree. But what Apple's trying to do is they're trying to unify their iOS devices with their Macs. And since most of their Macs now have the Magic Trackpad, you know, if you scroll up on your iPhone, you can go to your Mac and scroll up the same way by scrolling down. So vice versa, if I want to scroll down on an iPhone, you can come to your Mac and do it the same way. So they're just trying to make gestures the same across all their devices, which does make sense. And like I said, if you don't focus on the scroll bar, then it really does make sense. It's just something you have to get used to. And uh, this will also work with the Magic Mouse. So I have a Magic Mouse here, as you can see. So now if I scroll up, this scrolls down, vice versa, the horizontal would work if I could here. So that's pretty much it. Like I said, this app right here is called Scroll, Rever Scroll Reverser. Um, it's going to be in the description. There's a link. Go ahead and click that. It's freeware. It's very easy to install. And if you don't like it, if you will, if you want to end up changing the settings in Lion, then it's very easy to just um, turn it off, uninstall it, and go about your business. So before this video gets any longer, thanks for watching. I'm at CPUKid on Twitter. And hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Just a short tip on how to get used to Lion's uh, reverse scrolling. So let me know what you think. Thanks for watching.